It's a seismic zone that's long been high on scientists' radar. Most of Turkey is located on the Anatolian tectonic plate. Problem is, this plate is sandwiched between two others. It's pushed from the south by the Arabian plate, but blocked to the north by the Eurasian one, which is the third largest in the world. The North Anatolian Fault is the meeting point between the Eurasian and Anatolian plates. It's over a thousand kilometers long, and the plates move by about two centimeters per year. Cutting across the country from east to west, this fault is responsible for a series of destructive earthquakes, including the one that hit Izmit in 1999, costing the lives of at least 17,000 people. Experts say another earthquake of that scale may hit nearby Istanbul before 2030. That's because a segment of the fault located in the Sea of Marmara hasn't seen any seismic activity since the 18th century. But Monday's earthquake is linked to a different meeting of plates. It's the East Anatolian Fault, the border between the Arabian and Anatolian plates, located in the southeast of the country. It may not be as long as the Northern Fault, but that doesn't make it any less dangerous. Located close to the boundary, the province of Elazığ was impacted by two major earthquakes in 2010 and 2020. On each occasion, over 40 people lost their lives.